Hello, my name is Gedalia Knizhnik, and I will be presenting the paper Design and Experiments with a Low-Cost, Single-Motor, Modular Aquatic Robot. Just like human teams, robotic teams show great promise through increased capacity and teamwork. This is especially true in the vast expanse of aquatic environments, where robotic teams could effectively cover large areas to clean oil spills or perform search and rescue, or assemble into structures for construction projects. Previous work on robotic assembly and teamwork, such as the TEMP project shown here, has taken holonomic motion as a prerequisite. This requires many motors and results in expensive single robots, which leads to smaller teams and limits their usefulness. An alternative swimming design was proposed by Rafael and Degani, which uses only one motor and passive flippers. This design is inherently inexpensive, but is incapable of modular self-assembly due to its mechanical structure and exposed flippers. We propose to modify this design to facilitate teamwork and modular self-assembly. A basic model of the robot design is shown in this figure. It consists of a cylindrical body, shown as a solid line, with two flippers, shown in blue, connected by passive pin joints. Hard stops define fully open positions, which are shown. A large mass, shown as a dotted line, is mounted concentrically, and a motor controls the relative angle between the body and the mass. Rotating the mass causes the body to counter-rotate, and the surrounding fluid opens the leading flipper against the hard stop, where it provides thrust. Reversing the rotation will activate the opposite flipper and close the one that is open. Oscillating the mass thus allows the robot to move forward, as the lateral forces cancel each other, but the forward components do not. We therefore drive the system with a sinusoidal input. This equation defines a piecewise sinusoid with constant amplitude but switching frequency. By varying the period of rotation between the two directions of oscillation, we can create differential thrust and allow the boat to turn. Thus, the inputs to the system are the two periods T1 and T2, the amplitude of rotation A, and the center of rotation phi naught. A symmetric input wave, defined by T1 equals T2, produces, in simulation, quick convergence to a straight line trajectory, as shown in the figure. This expanded view shows the oscillating motion in blue and direction in purple. The simulation also predicts that we can generate clear turning behavior in either direction with small variations of the period. As previously discussed, this design is not capable of modular self-assembly or swarming because all of its components rotate and the protruding flippers create interference between neighboring units. To facilitate modular behavior, we introduce the following design changes. The driving mass becomes a separate, larger top body and we consider it the primary body. The flippers are designed to not protrude from the profile of the larger top body, and docking points are added to the exterior of the top body. These three points together allow swarming and self-assembly. Docking to the top body does not prevent propulsive rotation of the bottom body, and the non-protruding flippers cannot mechanically interfere with neighboring units. Additionally, a tail is added to facilitate undocking, and components and building are prioritized for low cost. The resulting design, the mod boat, is composed of two bodies. The top body, shown here, is built of an acrylic shell that provides a waterproof compartment for the motor, batteries, and an ESP8266 processor. We have omitted the docking points as this work focuses on single units, but they can easily be added. The bottom body, shown here, holds the passive propulsion components. The flippers are held in place by loose pin joints. Hard stops define the fully open position, and the cylinder defines the closed position. Note that, when closed, the flippers sit flush against the cylinder. The two bodies combine into a robot following the model developed by Rafael and Degani, but that is capable of modular self-assembly and swarming behavior. Although the design was not explicitly constructed with cost savings in mind, the result is quite affordable at around 120 US dollars due to its inherent simplicity. So how does the performance of the physical system stack up to the simulation? It is reasonable to expect deviation from straight line behavior due to imperfections, asymmetries, or external forces. But we observe a huge deviation 
the physical robot executes only sharp turns, even though the asymmetry in the design is small, mostly down to wires and PCB components. So why is the effect so big? Recall that the top body executes a symmetric oscillation around phi naught. If we change the value of phi naught, we are effectively shifting the oscillation of the center of mass. Centering this oscillation should balance the boat and produce trajectories that are effectively straight, but it turns out that this is impossible. To evaluate the trajectories, we ran the mod boat in open loop for 30 seconds, varying only the value of phi naught. We then fit a circle to the resulting trajectory and reported its radius as a measure of curvature, with positive radii for counterclockwise curves and negative radii for clockwise ones. The results are shown in this plot, with the mod boat diameter added as a reference. Straight lines would appear as large radii tending to infinity. We would expect behavior similar to the green line, with straight lines when the boat is balanced and turns when it is not. But we observe no straight lines over the entire range. We get either sharp counterclockwise turns or sharp clockwise turns with a sharp transition between them. Why does this happen despite only minor asymmetries? We hypothesize that this effect is caused by the flippers amplifying the minor asymmetries. When closed, the flippers sit flush against the bottom body. They open slowly at first, as little to no water is present between them and the bottom body in the closed position. But as water enters the gap and the angle increases, a positive feedback loop snaps them open. The issue occurs because even a tiny offset in the center of mass causes the boat to sit at a non-zero roll angle, as shown on the bottom figure. This angle causes the flipper on the bottom side to hang slightly open in the closed position, allowing water to enter the gap and providing it with an advantage in opening time. This advantage means more thrust, and so the boat will turn sharply. To test this hypothesis, we added spacers to the bottom body cylinder that would prevent the flippers from closing flush against the bottom body. This should allow water to remain in the gap and lower the asymmetry. Repeating the center of mass variation experiments with the spacers, we observed a significant improvement in performance. This plot shows that we now observe radii far larger than the mod boats in the region between minus 15 and minus 10 degrees, which are effectively straight lines. The radii decrease sharply as the offset increases, which is not good, but the overall shape matches the expected behavior, and these results strongly support our hypothesis. The true ideal behavior, however, would have approximately straight trajectories over a much wider range. Given this new knowledge, we improved the mechanical design by removing the bottom body cylinder. The fully closed position is now defined by hard stops, and the flippers no longer sit flush against the surface. This means water is present to immediately begin opening the flippers, reducing the center of mass sensitivity. Repeating our experiments with this new body shows further improvement. The range of offsets that produce straight line trajectories is much wider, and trajectories across the whole range are straighter, which gives us reasonable open loop performance that can be improved with closed loop control. In conclusion, we have presented a design for an affordable single motor swimming robot capable of swarming and modular self-assembly. We have identified a sensitivity to center of mass location that significantly hampered performance and removed it. The new design shown in this image shows reasonable open loop performance and is ready for closed loop heading control. Thank you for watching and please reach out with any questions or comments either via the conference system or via email.